Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the graphs of the inverse trigonometric functions, sine inverse x and cos inverse x. Now, first of all, let us discuss the graph of sine inverse x. Now, we know that trigonometric functions are in general not 1, 1 on 2. Therefore, their inverses do not exist. But if we restrict their domains, then they become 1, 1 on 2 and hence we can have their inverses. Now, let us define a function f from the closed interval minus 1 to 1 to the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 by f of x is equal to sine inverse x that is we have restricted the domain of sin x to the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 therefore the domain of sin inverse x is the closed interval minus 1 to 1 that is sin inverse x is defined for x is greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to 1 we can also say that sin inverse x is defined in the closed interval minus 1 to 1 only and the range of sin inverse x is the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that is the possible values of f of x for the graph of sin inverse x will be greater than or equal to minus pi by 2 and less than or equal to pi by 2. Now let y is equal to f of x is equal to sin inverse x that is y is equal to sin inverse x. Now let us draw the graph of y is equal to sin inverse x. Now y is equal to sin inverse x implies x is equal to sin y. Now for different values of x and y, let us draw a table. Now for y is equal to minus pi by 2, x will be equal to sin of minus pi by 2 which is equal to minus 1. Then for y is equal to minus pi by 3, x is equal to sine of minus pi by 3, which is minus root 3 by 2, which is equal to minus 0 0.87. Then for y is equal to minus pi by 4, x is equal to sine of minus pi by 4, which is equal to minus 1 by root 2, which is minus 0 0.71. Then for y is equal to minus pi by 6, x is equal to sine of minus pi by 6, which is minus 1 by 2, which is equal to minus 0 0.5. Then for y is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, then for y is equal to pi by 6, x is equal to sine pi by 6, which is 1 by 2, which is 0 0.5. Then for y is equal to pi by 4, x is equal to sine pi by 4, which is 1 by root 2, which is 0 0.71. Then for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to sine pi by 3 which is root 3 by 2 which is 0 0.87 and for y is equal to pi by 2 x is equal to sine pi by 2 which is 1. Now for drawing the graph of the inverse trigonometric function y is equal to sine inverse x we will plot these points on the graph. Now by taking 10 small divisions is equal to 1 along the x-axis and 5 small divisions is equal to pi by 6 along the y-axis, we have drawn a graph 
Now let us plot the point minus 1 minus pi by 2 on the graph. So this is the required point on the graph. Then we will plot the point minus 0 0.87 and minus pi by 3 on the graph. Now this is the required point on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all the other points on the graph. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. And by joining all these points, we are getting the graph of the inverse trigonometric function y is equal to sine inverse x. Now here we can observe that y increases monotonically from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 as x increases from minus 1 to 1. And also sine inverse 0 is 0. Then sine inverse of 1 is pi by 2 and sine inverse of minus 1 is minus pi by 2. So here the inverse trigonometric function sine inverse x is not defined for x greater than 1 and less than minus 1. And now let us discuss the graph of cos inverse x. Now let us define a function f from the closed interval minus 1 to 1 to the closed interval 0 to pi by f of x is equal to cos inverse x that is we have restricted the domain of cos x to the closed interval 0 to pi therefore the domain of cos inverse x is the closed interval minus 1 to 1 that is cos inverse x is defined for x is greater than equal to minus 1 and x is less than equal to 1 so we can say that cos inverse x is defined in the closed interval minus 1 to 1 only and the range of cos inverse x is the closed interval 0 to pi that is the possible f of x values for the graph of cos inverse x will be greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to pi. Now let y is equal to f of x is equal to cos inverse x that is let y is equal to cos inverse x. Now let us draw the graph of y is equal to cos inverse x. Now y is equal to cos inverse x implies x is equal to cos y. Now for the different values of x and y we will draw a table. Now for y is equal to pi x will be equal to cos pi which is minus 1 for y is equal to 5 pi by 6 x is equal to cos of 5 pi by 6 which is equal to minus root 3 by 2 which is equal to minus 0 0.87 and for y is equal to 3 pi by 4 x is equal to cos of 3 pi by 4 which is minus 1 by root 2 which is minus 0 0.71 now for y is equal to 2 pi by 3 x is equal to cos of 2 pi by 3 which is equal to minus 1 by 2 which is minus 0 0.5 now for y is equal to pi by 2, x is equal to cos pi by 2 which is 0 and for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to cos of pi by 3 which is 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5. Now 
फॉर वाई इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस पाई बाय फोर विच इज वन बाय रूट टू विच इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वन एंड फॉर वाई इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय सिक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉज ऑफ पाई बाय सिक्स विच इज रूट थ्री बाय टू विच इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन एंड फॉर वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉज जीरो विच इज वन नाउ फॉर ड्रॉइंग द ग्राफ ऑफ द इनवर्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू कॉज इन यूर्स एक्स वेन वी प्लॉट दीज पॉइंट्स ऑन द ग्राफ So here we have taken ten small divisions is equal to one along the x-axis and five small divisions is equal to pi by six along the y-axis and then we have drawn graph. Now the first point that we will plot on the graph is minus one pi. So this is the required point on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all the other points on the graph. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now, on joining all these points, we are getting the graph of the inverse trigonometric function y is equal to cos inverse x. Now, here we can observe that y decreases monotonically. From pi to zero, as x increases from minus one to one. Also, cos inverse of minus one is pi. Cos inverse of zero is pi by two, and cos inverse of one is zero. And also. Cos inverse x is defined in the closed interval minus one to one only. So in this session, we have learned about the graphs of the inverse trigonometric functions y is equal to sine inverse x and y is equal to cos inverse x. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.